Hi, and thank you for joining Spiritual But Not Religious. Thank you. What is your name? Susan Boyle. Okay. Um, what does Spiritual But Not Religious mean to you? I'm confinement, so I'm not really confined to anything. I can really do whatever I want. I don't have to listen to any rules. It's just like my own thing. It's super chill. What influenced you to lead a spiritual life than, than other than a religious one? Um, well, it just took like a lot of hours out of my day throughout the week. It was just a lot of work. I didn't feel like doing that. It just wasn't my thing. And what are you holding in your hand? This is my shrine that Ryan Reynolds touched two years ago. <laughs> it's very close to my heart. Okay, thank you for being on Spiritual but Not Religious. Hi, welcome to SPNR. What's your name? Sid Bryce. Okay, what does spiritual but not religious mean to you? Well, I don't really agree with spiritual people, first off. I like religion. I think that as a society and culture, we should be in unity, one, with the same beliefs and same practices. I just feel that religion is more... Religion is more, what's the word? Better. Better is the word because I think that religions bring people together and it makes uh, it. Do you attend? Yeah, we're going to stop there. Okay. Do you, attend, do you attend church every Sunday? Oh, not just every Sunday. Every day I go to church. Every day I practice my religion. Okay, thank you for being on SPNR. Hello, welcome to SBNR. How are you today, sir? Doing great. Happy to be here. Thanks. Thank you for being on the show. So today we're just going to ask you a couple questions. So what does being spiritual but not religious mean to you in these type of days? Uh, you know, personally, I think that uh, the idea of being spiritual but not religious puts more of an emphasis on uh, maybe an individual's relationship with their spirituality so it's more of a one-on-one -on -one. so whatever you believe in you can be spiritual in that nature if that makes sense i don't know good answer sir um so what does being religious but not spiritual mean to you i guess on the flip side you can have people that are very religious uh, maybe the uh, the routine or the ritual of going to church but not necessarily believe in everything that the spiritual people there would believe in so if you've just got the the one side and not the other um, that could be a problem in its own way. What do you think perks come with being spiritual but not religious? Uh, perks of just being spiritual and not religious, I think uh, most would say maybe it's it's less of a time commitment. Um, it's it's a little easier and you can ignore things about whatever religion you don't like maybe. What about um, religious but not spiritual? I think most people would say you have the uh, community. Um, you've got all of these people together. And even if you're just religious and, and not spiritual, then you have a, a group of people that's almost like a family um, and they can work together and grow together in that community. So one question I'm gonna ask you is, uh, are you spiritual and religious? I think yes, and I think that's the best combination. So you get the perks of both sides and then, um, you know, there's not really that many cons, so. What do you think perks coming from that are? Of having both, I think it just makes you more well-rounded. Um, and it makes it easier to find a community where you can fit in. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time.